for you now, well, though. Teresa. Uh, I-70 at Floyd Hill. If you drive up to ski country, you know this spot, this is where it can back up. It gets busy. I slept in a little too long and gotten stuck right there. But the return of the ski train to Winter Park is helping to alleviate some of that I-70 traffic. The Nows Russell Haythorn looking at the train's success in its first six weeks. The ski train to Winter Park is in the express lane at the moment. Very relaxing way to, to spend a, a Saturday or a Sunday. Since its return at the beginning of January for the first time in years, 15,000 riders have hopped aboard. Numbers Winter Park is calling eye-popping. This train so popular, five of the first six Saturdays sold out completely. And Sundays were nearly at capacity. And CDOT says each day this train is in use, it takes an average of two to 300 cars off I-70. Every little bit helps, and so we're, we're thrilled. CDOT partnered with the ski resort and Amtrak to put a new platform in at Winter Park. It's a win-win for everybody involved. But some... I live like two blocks that way. Like uh, JT Bruch, who has a season pass to the ski resort, say it's still too pricey at $39 one way, $59 round trip. That's got a lot of money to spend where I can just get up at 5 and take it an hour to drive there. Amtrak is even adding a trip on Monday, President's Day, because of demand. Russell Haythorn for the Now Denver.